I'm here to uh, turn myself in. Okay, what's going on? I had an accident last night. Yeah, because I wouldn't be here voluntarily. But I've been so scared since it happened. 2023年3月27日下午，位于美国迈阿密斯堡市警察局停车场，一名像是要寻求帮助的中老年男子朝着警员走来。正在停车的斯蒂芬警员接待了他。Hey, what's going on? I'm here to uh, turn myself in. Okay, what's going on? I had an accident last night. Okay. I was showing an old friend of mine how to use this gun that she was needing, that she asked for, and it went off and it shot her in the chest. Okay. And I've been running around scared. Where is this at? Up on Miami Montgomery County Line Road. Okay. You just want to set your water right there? Sure. 这名手持水瓶的中老年男子上来几句话把警员说懵了。为了安全起见，警员立马拿出手铐控制住他。You put yourself up there. You got any weapons on you right now? No. Okay. Just put your hands behind your back for me. Okay. I'm just going to detain you right now based off what you're telling me. Right. I understand. You want to talk to me? I'll still talk to you. Okay. Right. Does this person need Ooh. assistance or help or? Do you have two sets of cuffs? I can put two sets on you in a second. Okay. okay. Does this person need help right now, or are they deceased, or what? They're deceased. Does it, anybody it else happened. know about this? No. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I've been waiting. Where Where is this address actually that you you're at? I, I don't know the actual number. Is this her house or your house or? No, it's a friend of mine's house. What What county is it in? It's on the Miami County side, but it's on Miami Montgomery County Line Road. Miami's for 311. I'll be in the back lot with one. What's your name, sir? I'm Brian. 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 Okay. I'm, I'm Officer Dooley. I'm just gonna check check you down. Go right. Go right ahead. I'm in the back lot of the PD in the parking lot. Okay. Again, no weapons on you, right? Right. Not even a pocket knife. No. Okay. No, that, I left that in the truck. Okay. Brian, what's your last name, Brian? Mason. Is there a weapon in your truck? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you dropped a quarter. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because I wouldn't be here voluntarily, but I've been so scared since it happened. Okay. Uh, what's uh, what's your social security, Brian? Hey. All right. Let's have a seat in my car for two seconds, and I'll switch the cuffs on you. Okay. Sure. All right, hop up there, and it's a big, big step. Just give me one second. What, what's your last name again? Mason. Mason, okay. Okay. Up up oh, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Just give me one second, okay? Okay. I'm on. This guy walks up. He's like, turn my body cam on. Get out of the car. I walk up. He's like, what's going on? He's like, the lobby's closed. I'm like, okay. What's going on? He said, hey, I'm just here to turn myself in. I said, for what? He said, uh, excellent shot kill. It's one last night. So he says that he was at a on County Line Road. Doesn't know the exact address. Said he was shown to friend a gun, and it went off and shot her in the chest, and she's deceased. I said, does this person need assistance? They need help? Or are they deceased? He said they're deceased. So I detained him. I said, hey, if you want to talk to me, I'm just detaining on on what you're telling me, and I'll read you Miranda, you know, and talk to you. But he said there's a gun in his car. I haven't confirmed that's the gun he used. He doesn't even know the address at this point. That's as far as we got. So, okay. Yep. Yeah. So you're the perfect guy to be in charge right now. So, <laughs> I'm gonna read him Rand down so he wants to keep talking. He said he wants another pair of cuffs on. I think that's. I'll just put another set on if he's willing to keep talking to me at this point. Uh, he, he said it's like on the Montgomery County, Miami County border line. I believe that's what he said. So. All right, well, we're gonna need to try to find out where this happened. I know. So, so I'm gonna try to keep talking to him. So. Okay. If you wanna hop out, I'm just put the other pair of cuffs on you. Okay. Oh, thank you. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. Either, either. Absolutely. I don't think that you're causing any problems. 警员史蒂芬和上司讨论后决定，由于之前布莱恩破案自首，警方没有进行正式的审讯流程。因此，他们决定先向布莱恩宣读米兰达权利。在警员确认布莱恩不会对他们构成危险后，他们解开了布莱恩的手铐，并开始宣读米兰达权利的经典内容。而布莱恩听完米兰达权利之后，内心也发生了微妙的变化。Okay, I'm just gonna read off this card, okay? I'm a police officer, sheriff's deputy. 
you are hereby advised you have certain rights as follows. You have the right to remain silent. You don't have to make any statements or answer any questions. Do you understand? Yeah. Got it. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. If you cannot afford, I'm sorry, you have the right to speak with a lawyer for advice before you're asked any questions. You have the right to have a lawyer with you during any questions. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. If you cannot afford a lawyer, a lawyer appointed by the court, or a lawyer from the public defender's office will be provided to you before and during any question without any cost to you. Do you understand? Yes. If you decide to answer any questions now without a lawyer present, you will still have the right to stop answering at any time. You also have the right to stop answering at any time until you talk with a lawyer. Do you understand? Yes. Okay, now that you understand your rights, are you willing to, to answer any questions without a lawyer present? Um, um, minimal. I mean, okay. I, to be fair, representation is needed. And, and but at the bare minimum, we're trying to figure out right. this address. This person needs help. Right. You're is, telling us that they're beyond really? help at this point. So. But she collapsed instantly, and, and I got scared. I got frightened and What's ran out. Answer? Brian, Mason. Brian, he, he asked you a question, and we do need to, a yes or no on that. You can you can refuse to answer any question we ask okay. you, and you can stop answering at any time, like he read you. So if you say minimal, I mean, we need to know if you want a, a lawyer or if you're willing to answer some questions. You can always refuse to answer any question that you want to refuse to answer. Okay. You know, I appreciate your guys' respect. Thank you very much. Um, yes, at this time I can answer some questions. Um, First of all, let me ask you this. Has this been reported to law enforcement at all? No, this is it. This is it. I'm walking in because I know this is the right thing to do, but... Where do you live at? I've been live, living out of my truck and motel rooms since I quit my uh, trucking job last I'm just year. trying to figure out why you came to this police department. Were you oh. just driving around? Or? Yeah, I've been all over the place. Okay. I've been okay. Where, where did this happen? Up on um, the Miami-Montgomery County line road. Miami-Montgomery County line road. Do you have an address? I don't know her house number. What's her name? I think it's in the 9000 series. Okay. Um, her name is Michelle Elliott. What's her age, approximately? 57. Same age as me. I've known her is for this, years. Is this her address? Yeah. yeah. Do you mind, will you come downstairs to the interview room with us? No, no problem. 随后，布兰被带进警局进行正式审讯。他坦白自己与遇害者米夏尔是高中同学，并表示事发当时是在他家做客。在教授米夏尔如何使用枪支的过程中，不幸发生了枪支走火，导致米夏尔胸部中枪。布兰称，在枪击事件发生后，他感到惊慌失措，用毯子盖住了米夏尔的尸体，然后驾车离开。他整夜不停的在迈阿密县周围开车，大约过了24小时后，才前往附近警局自首。当警方锁定了米夏尔的住址时，发现距离布莱恩自首的迈阿密斯堡警局有足足40公里的距离，警方向迈阿密县警方发出了协助调查的请求。县警赶到米夏尔的家中后，发现他躺在地板上，已经无生命迹象，初步认定他是被枪伤。尽管布莱恩一直强调这是一起意外事件，但并没有任何证据能够证明这一点。目前，警方以谋杀罪对布莱恩进行指控，但布莱恩表示不认罪，并被关押在迈阿密县监狱，他的保释金高达100万美元。大家觉得这起事件是不是一个意外呢？欢迎提出你的看法。